Hello, everyone. I'm Mara from Exploit Pack, and I'm joined by Juan. Hi, I'm Juan Sacco, founder of Exploit Pack. Yes, and today we will be talking about a very interesting topic, a trend that nowadays we've been seeing a lot in mm -hmm. uh, cybersecurity field. True. Yeah, so there is this trend in malware, actually. Uh, the, the, yeah, nowadays malware is, is starting to use more and more uh, drivers to interact with the kernel and, and, and use elevated privileges from, from the user perspective and interacting with the, with the kernel, of course, by, by using the malware as a bridge. Mm -hmm. And then and, what, sorry? Yeah. No, uh, I was about to ask you, why would you use drivers to do this? Yeah. So malware typically lives in user land. Uh, meaning that doesn't have any any ring zero access or doesn't have any access that is more than that a privileged user would have, meaning it goes as high as an admin, as an administrator. So um, on top of that, uh, you have the antivirus software uh, that in, in runs with protections uh, or, for example, or security products like ETRs as well. They run with uh, protections. In some cases, they, they run with the PPL, that is protected process light. So even if you are an administrator, you are not able to kill uh, these processes, uh, ABs or EDRs or security uh, security software running the, in the target system. As you are a malware, if, if you are running from the user, user mode and you want to kill these other user mode applications, but they run with a, with a higher uh, security than yours, then uh, you can, uh, yeah, this, this malware, they start more and more starting to try to escalate higher than this protection. So they get kernel, kernel access and they can choose kill uh, this, um, this, yes, this is security softwares, right? That they are trying to uh, detect and mitigate this, this, this malware running on a, on, on on computers. Okay, so they are able to kill uh, antiviruses that not even the the user can do. Yeah, exactly. Right. By the abuse of uh, of uh, kernel drivers, and this technique is called bring your own device driver. So basically, what happens is that uh, the malware is gonna drop. A driver, so it's basically it's gonna create a file and it's gonna use a driver from a legitimate company. Because remember, uh, since a few years ago, you we couldn't uh, choose load any any driver. The driver itself has to be signed by uh, by Microsoft. So if it's not signed, then you cannot load uh, securely this uh, driver. So um, the what the they, what the people malicious people uh, writing malware uh, does is that they they will bring their own device driver from legitimate companies and they will load that driver that is already digitally signed uh, by Microsoft. They will load it in, the, in your target computer, in the computer, in the victim computer, and then they will abuse vulnerabilities found, previously found, of course, in these, uh, in these drivers. And in this case, uh, the case that we will, uh, I would like to show you, is uh, yeah, is by killing this is by using a, a set a W termination process. That basically is a way to call to kill a, 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 a process from from the kernel. Yeah. Okay, and and can you can you tell us more on a real scenario? By uh, yes. for example, uh, we are in a company. Mm -hmm. And how do I get this malware to infect my my system. Well, uh, typically you will you will download something from the internet. Let's say on this particular case that I'm going to show you is from a, a, a malware called Ballet Bali Rat, and mm -hmm. basically it, it acts as a as an installer. So if you are looking around for installers of other programs, legitimate programs, then you will end up. Uh, if is yeah, if if you are in misluck, then you will end up in one of these malicious sites, and then you will download this an installer, a fake installer for a program that you wanted. Uh, you will double click the installer, and then instead of getting the 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 legitimate program, you will get the malicious malware installer. And I won't get not notified, right? So no, my, no, I I won't know that this is a malicious 
uh, this is a malware. No, because the malware can in parallel in parallel can also install the the real uh, the real software, right? Because it's signed by Microsoft. Actually, yes. actually, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then what it's gonna do is gonna drop this driver in the in the victim computer, mm -hmm. and then it's gonna load that driver, and then it's gonna abuse that driver to get to kernel. So first it will run uh, as a yeah as a as a user, just like a regular user. It might have or not a UAC, a UAC bypass, so it will show you uh, or not if it has a bypass or not. So the, the, the prompt for asking for admin credentials, mm -hmm. uh, the yes or no, uh, it might not have it or might have it. So if it has a UAC bypass or not, and then it will load the driver after getting admin rights. And then from uh, kernel, after escalating to kernel, using this driver, it will kill the antivirus or anything that is uh, the text that is running on your computer that it could interfere with the malicious actions that he wanted to do. And I can show you here. I yes. was uh, I was uh, just browsing the internet and I found this uh, this uh, project. Well, this is the block. Uh, it's a block spot, but basically they they cover uh, the Ballyrat uh, project or Ballyrat uh, Balwar. That basically is exploiting a bring your own uh, uh, vulnerable driver to kill endpoint security or basically any other uh, antivirus that is running on the anti on the on the victim machine. And then he it, on this page they go to to the analysis of the of the driver itself, how how they found the IOCTL that was uh, actually triggering this mm -hmm. uh, this vulnerable uh, call to set W termination of uh, terminate process, and then how how this uh, driver was, was dropped into into the victim machine, and then uh, uh, they made a POC. This is a proof of concept that basically gets the a process ID by process name. Uh, then by getting the process ID, they will call the IOCTL here to device IO control. They will pass the uh, IOCTL terminate process that should be should be somewhere there with the value of the of the IOCTL call that they that they wanted to call, and then passing the process ID. Uh, that they wanted to terminate, uh, and they have here a screenshot. Uh, they show how uh, they were killing uh, notepad.exe 7592, but of course from from the kernel. Mm -hmm. And what I can do here is to show you how it works because I found the driver, uh, mm -hmm. and then I will show you how to reproduce it without using any line of code, without uh, basically making the same proof of concept using IOCTL++, that's the tool I made. Okay. Uh, but first, I'm going to show you uh, the, 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 kernel, the kernel driver that I have here. It's the same that they were using. So I found it on the internet. I'm going to put it in IDA. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna show you how how this uh, uh, vulnerability works. Uh, all right. And um, yeah, so here, if you if you start here uh, with um, with the driver, if you load it into IDA, you can also use Jira. It doesn't have to be uh, IDA. And and then you will end up in the driver entry. That's the main. It's like the main function of a uh, of a. Um, of a program, but for the driver is the driver entry. And then inside here, you will find uh, all the major functions uh, here that are here, uh, the driver mm -hmm. loaded, and then how it goes into, uh, yeah, basically into the process of the dispatcher and the and, and the functions that you will you will done. So basically when you call a driver, then the driver itself is gonna do some stuff, right? And depends on the on the libraries that it's using is what it's gonna do. And uh and but the that's function, just sorry. a regular just a regular driver. That, that's that's, for, that's what drivers do. That's yeah. what drivers what drivers do. So first here we found the the device name that is NSEC mm -hmm. kernel and then by using um this plugin that I have in Solis driver body reloaded that also doesn't work actually if you if you look at the, on github on the latest uh, ida but i have a i, I have patched uh, the the plugin so i made it uh, work with the latest version so if you need it uh, please uh, uh, ping me over i can i can share share it with you so what it 
what it does is just basically goes into all the all the exports from uh, from this driver and they will see that it's using terminate process set w terminate process the driver itself on this function if i go into this function i see that this is the function that is being called um on here on pseudo code uh, mm -hmm. And then he is asking for the process handle and the and the process uh, and the process itself. Yeah, the the structure of the process, and then she's basically terminating the process handle here by using set w terminate process, right? But if we cross reference this um, this function, um, then we will go back into 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 the dispatcher, and then here we will see how uh, how these functions here. Uh, will be selected by IOCTL codes. Here are the uh, IOCTL codes, and in the case of the vulnerable function, that we can say uh, we can replace the name. We can say terminate sub termination termination of process if you wanted. Well, uh, yeah, I, I gotta put it in a in a place that is uh, available. But if you want, you can set it up or or a comment termination of process. So it's uh, easier uh, to read. So in this case, what we will see uh, is a termination of a process that we mm -hmm. choose. Yeah, exactly. From the okay. kernel. From so, the kernel. From the kernel. So we can kill processes as we were the kernel. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and of course, uh, that means that you can terminate any process. So including antiviruses, including EDRs and security protection. I mean, processes that you wouldn't be able to kill even if you were administrator of the, of the computer. Mm -hmm. So uh, here is the IOCTL code. And if we, yeah, so here's the IOCTL code. And if it matches this switch and it ended up on this IOCTL code, then it will go into terminate process function here, the sub function. So I have here IOCTL++, uh, the tool uh, that I extended. So basically here I can load the driver. Mm -hmm. And if I load it, the driver is now loaded. Uh, in order to get the device name, if you don't know the device name, you can go into the driver links uh, here and then refresh. You see zero, zero new, so I will refresh. And then it will query the kernel itself because the uh, the application also has a driver helper. Uh, so basically, also it has his own driver uh, loaded into kernel. And mm -hmm. then it will list all the drivers installed. And then it will give me, um, yeah, it will give me a list. And then from this list, it will it's gonna tell me um, uh, which one is, yeah, which one is you. In this case, this one is is the new. So it's marked as new because I choose load it and then I can tell, okay, and this is the device name, right? From that mm -hmm. one. So that's pretty, pretty useful. I can put it use in IOCTL tab. So that's how I, how I did it here. And then I already know the IOCTL code. I took it from, from IDA here. That's the IOCTL code. Of course, uh, you, ha you have to use it in hexadecimal. And then from there, uh, it will only expect a, a PID. So if we select a PID that we couldn't kill, like for example, the uh, the antivirus here that is running is the Microsoft uh, malware, anti anti malware uh, uh, antivirus engine. So the the process ID of this one is eight one thirty two. So I'm gonna put it here into. The decimal to hexadecimal, 81.32, and then I will get the hexadecimal value. I'm going to put it here, C41F, and I do it in reverse because it, this goes into memory. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to replay this IOCTL. Remember, I already loaded the driver and sec kernel using uh, IOCTL++, and then I'm writing into this device on this IOCTL call using this input size, yeah, this PID. So I'm, this is what I'm sending directly from my application from IOCTL++ to the driver. And I'm gonna, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna reach here, then it's gonna look for this IOCTL, in this case it's gonna match, it's gonna go inside this function, 
and it's going to take the PID and it's going to convert it uh, by using process lookup uh, process by process ID. So it's going to it's going to take by process ID the process ID that I have sent and then it's going to convert it into a handle. And then that's the handle that is going to kill, right? Mm -hmm. so that's what's going to happen. So let me let me do it now. So I'm going to click on replay. And then the 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 antivirus has disappeared from here. From the from from the list of processes, it's closed. Yeah, it's closed. It's dead. The antivirus is dead. Uh, at some point, it will come back because there is a service in uh, a, a, on the task manager in the task scheduler that basically this service is gonna load uh, the antivirus if it detects that the 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 antivirus is not running. It's gonna load it again, but and we could kill it. We could kill the, the service if we wanted as well. Yeah. C can we have something like uh, what we have in Control Pack, like our kind of a watchdog? Yes. Maybe yes, of this? course. Oh, or, or we can. Is that or, possible? Or, or we could just kill the service, right? We we could we could do whatever we wanted mm -hmm. here because we are uh, we are the kernel in this case. By but we are not in we are not executing code in the kernel. But what we are doing here is abusing of a termination of a of a process. Just it's termination, it. just killing it. Yeah, just right now the the process uh, the the uh, the engine of the of the defender has come back. You see here. Yeah, it's back. All right, driver on load, and there you go. So uh, without using without a, a line of code, we have successfully reproduced this uh, what the malware does. Um, so if you are if you are a red team, and or you are a pen tester, and you, or, or you are part of the blue team, and you want it's very to useful. Yeah, exactly. If you want to reproduce this and you want to check what could happen if you have an EDR, if or even to check if this is detected or not, you can emulate what a malware would do in your organization be before they do it for real. So, take your defenses, take your employees. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Without touching a line of code by using the IOCTL++. That's amazing. Yes, that's quite cool. And uh, let me, um, before we wrap it up, uh, let me say thanks to these guys because uh, Exa, Exa Strike, and that's uh, this is the website that I found. I think it was on LinkedIn, and then uh, it is, yeah, it uh, it triggered me to yeah to try it with this vulnerable driver. Uh, I see that they have a very detailed mm -hmm. blog about about this. Yeah, indeed. So it was was quite quite, quite cool, quite cool. And actually, I I have seen this happening in the past by mm -hmm. uh, by big companies, even antivirus company. They have the same vulnerability, and malware is using this vulnerability in the wild. So this is happening. It's not it's not it's it's, it's not just a trend. It's actually happening right yes. now. So uh, yeah, it's and not as a not yeah, as a proof of not, concept. Not as it's, a proof it's of concept. Real, exactly. yeah, it's real. Yeah, it's real. All right, and what's gonna come next? The next, uh, so remember to subscribe if you want to see more content like this, because uh, what's coming next is uh, uh, is a, an actual exploit uh, for Windows kernel that we develop ourselves. So we're for gonna exploit pack, yeah, right? for for exploit yeah. pack, of course. And if you want to get the exploit, get exploit pack, uh, you will have it. Uh, but we will try to do a, a quick video explaining how the exploit work. But of course, if you want to have the exploit code, then you can uh, you can go to exploitpack.com and uh, yeah, I give us a shout out and then we can uh, we can arrange it there for you, guys. Awesome, thank you. Thank you so uh, much, Juan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. bye.